What's going on mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your controller for your Odin 2 for Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. So let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge. Alright mobile gamers, today your headaches are going to be over because I found two ways, well one way, to play Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 without the headaches. The headaches are going to be gone. I repeat, the headaches are going to be gone. Yeah, I took like two days to try to figure this out. And then I found out that somebody made something for us to make this easy enough for us to just copy some files. And that's what we're going to do today is just copy these files that I compiled for you. I created a zip file in the link in the description below to make this a lot simpler so that we can just play Super Mario Galaxy with our default controller. And again dissipate all those headaches so that we can just play the game and enjoy it so the first thing you're going to do is download the file in the link in the description below the file is called galaxy controller pack the first thing we have to do is go inside that galaxy controller pack and we're going to extract that now i'm going to extract this to my external sd card to my wii folder to my revolution mods folder and that's what this is going to be is a revolution mod if you don't know what those are i'm basically going to tell you what they are today the next thing we're going to do we're in our file explorer on our device we're going to go to the dolphin emulator we're going to go to config now if you don't have any config files in here for your wii profiles so see this folder right here that says profiles we're going to click on that and if you don't have that in here yet, then go create a profile or just create a folder called profiles, create another folder called Wiimote, and then all of your profiles will be in here. So why I'm showing you this is because we're going to go navigate to that folder that I just backed up in my revolution mods, which are our galaxy controller folder. We're going to grab this classic controller dot any file. We're going to copy it, go to our three lines, go down to dolphin, go to config, go to profiles, go to Wiimote, and then we're going to copy that there. Now, that is just our controller po profile for basically the classic controller. If you don't know what that is, I put that on screen right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to long press on Super Mario Galaxy 1. Go to edit game settings. Go to Wii input. Go to the settings cog and set it to that classic controller. As you see here, I already have it set up to be that classic controller. The same thing goes for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Edit game settings. We're going to go to Wii Input, Settings, Classic Controller, make sure it's checked off. Now that that's set up, we're going to copy these other files. Now, I have the PAL version of these games. The way to, the, to find out which version of your game you have is by long pressing it, click Details, and mine says European. If yours says uh, North American or USA or something, that means that it's the NTSC version. Mine is the U version or the PAL version. Same with Mario Galaxy 2, and the reason I do this is just because I think these games run better, and that's just my own preference. So that being said, we're going to go to our files, go to that folder wherever your Revolution mods are located, go to your Galaxy controller pack. Now, I'm going to do this for both of these. I'm going to go into Super Mario Galaxy 1, and there's little images here. Again, I'm not taking full credit for this. I'm just showing you guys how to do this easily because somebody else has done this for us. So as you can see, we have the NTSC Japan, NTSC, I think, Korea, and NTSC U, which is USA. And then we have our PAL version, which is on the bottom, which is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to navigate over to my Dolphin emulator, which is on the left-hand side. I'm going to go down to Load. I'm going to go into revolutions and you're going to create one folder in here called revolution all lowercase again revolution all lowercase make sure there's no spaces at the beginning or the end and it's going to be lowercase just like so inside of that main revolution folder and then we're going to copy that file there now we're going to go navigate over back to the dolphin folder you won't be able to see it copy but we're going to go back into that revolution the other revolution and you'll see that xml layout or xml file copied into that revolution folder you need to make sure it's set up that way now go back into your Wii revolution mods galaxy controller pack and then we're going to grab the same version of your game so if your version is the north american version just grab that xml layout for that mine is the europe version so i'm going to copy this one copy two go over to my 
Dolphin Emulator, go to Load, Revolution, inside that folder, it's already created for us, click Copy. Now that's done, we can go back into our Dolphin Emulator, we're going to long press on the game, start with Revolution Patches, Classic Controller, we're going to select All Stars Controller Style, and click Start. Now I'm going to tell you the button layout. So the back M2 button, you can change this around however you want later on. The M2 button I set up for the A button and then the B button is just the B button. So A and B, and then you can use your right joystick just as a pointer. There's no motion or anything like that to mess around with the pointer going away or anything. I'm going to press A to play, go down to start. And as you saw at the beginning of the game, I was flying through the stars and through the sky without any issues we have our shake motion to spin mario we have our camera so if you press the camera button on the joypad that's the camera right there and like i said there's pictures that will show you what buttons are which and we can just play the way that we want to if you want to add the motion back for the shake and stuff you can go back into the controller settings and set that all up yourself but this controller revolution mod is amazing i played for over an hour the other day and didn't have any issues with this and it was great so let's go back into that flying world i'm going to go over to it right now i haven't really played super mario galaxy too much to actually know all these worlds i just know this one because of somebody on discord telling me that this was the world that you can fly and that was a major issue when setting up just the basic controls of super mario galaxy one and two I guess Super Mount Galaxy number one, there's a section where you have to ride on a manatee. And all we're going to use is our left joystick just to fly through the sky. And we don't have to worry about the headache of trying to set this up. It's already ready to go. And you guys will just have fun enjoying playing with your Odin 2. Like it's just a Nintendo Wii on the go. So watch me fly as I go through the sky. The controls are amazing. They are don't have any delay or any issues whatsoever i can fly grab the balloons fly through the ports and the star channels whatever you want to call them and just enjoy playing super mario galaxy 1 and 2. as this is one of the biggest games that a lot of people wanted to play this will help you out don't forget to like subscribe share if you want to become part of the odin 2 pro giveaway yes this is the first video to gain access to the Odin 2 Pro giveaway. Have a good day. See you next time. Stay tuned because I have more content surrounding the Odin 2 coming up.